Yeah, um, I think that's kind of the style they play. They kind of want to want to bore you down. I know they got all that firepower up front, um, especially high up in the lineup. But um, I feel like they really wait for us to make mistakes, and that's when they capitalize. So I feel like that's maybe why the first little bit felt a little boring. Um, but that's that's when you kind of set the standard for the game, and you you tell them that like we're not going to make those little mistakes for you guys to get your chances, and we're going to keep pushing. Um, even if even if we don't have many openings, um, that's the time that we really have to stay strict within ourselves um, and just stick to the plan and not not open up because that's obviously when they get their chances. So um, you know, I thought we we started okay with that, where where we might not have had all the energy and buzzing like we like we would have liked, but understanding their style of play, um, that was almost kind of what we expected. So I think it's just sticking with that, um, learning from this game and learning that, you know, we, we can't always come out and be fast paced, taking it always to them, you know. Um, sometimes we got to kind of switch up our game plan a little bit and just, uh, I guess, focus on not making mistakes and then wait for them to crack instead of the other way around. I love playing hockey. Uh, so, you know, where, wherever that is, whatever happens, happens. Um, strobe light going here. Um, you know, whatever happens, happens. I just want to play hockey and have fun. So, um, whether that's here or somewhere else, um, you know, you just try to make the most of it, have fun, and become the best player you can be. Is it frustrating at all to, to have to wait to kind of get an opportunity to get back into the lineup? Ah, uh, you know, that's hockey. Um, that's. That's what good teams are built on. They're they're built on competition within the group. Um, so you know that's that's just part of hockey for me. You, you come in, you work hard every day. Um, you of course expect a lot of things uh, when you do put in the hours, but nothing's promised. Um, so you know you just try to come in every day, do your job, be uh, be happy with with the effort you put in, and kind of take the outcomes kind of as they come, and uh, maybe take them with a grain of sand and. You know, just kind of, just kind of focus on the process. I think more than uh, more than the outcome, especially that's that's kind of what I've been focusing on. Um, you know, there's there's a, got a lot of good competition um, here in our back end. So the days that I'm not in, I'm just just focusing on trying to become better in practice, um, and you know, all the little things. And uh, I think that'll that'll just build up my confidence for when I do get back and back in the lineup and playing. So. That's, I think, the, the most positive way you can go about it. Some days it's hard, but that's, uh, that's what I like to try to focus on. Yeah, it's an exciting time, that's for sure. Right? When trade deadline comes around, uh, no team really looks the same after, after you go through this time. So um, it's an exciting time in hockey, and uh, first time I've, tried to, or I've kind of been in the talks, so it's a little different this year. But, um, you know, that's hockey. Love it. You're from here. I mean, it's the trade deadline. There's a lot of emotion. It's different in your department. Is that, like, how, how would that feel? Like, that would Couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I've always grown up here. Uh, or not here, but around Toronto. Um, always been a Leafs fan growing up. So, you know, it's another way you could just say it's hockey, right? It's It was surreal being drafted by the Leafs and all this stuff leading up to this. Um, but you know how many guys play their entire career in the same team, so it's it's something that uh, you know it's always there. It's always a possibility um, to get moved out. Wish uh, you wish everything works out as as well as it could, but um, that's hockey. So you just kind of read and react and make the best of your situation. <laughs> you know that, that's probably a game you're looking forward to. Um, but I mean, you know. Not much to say other than that's hockey. So happy the uh, happy the young guys got to get in and experience that. I already had one outdoor game, so um, yeah, that's all I got for that. Travis, whatever happens, what does it mean to you to wear that sweater and be, be part of this? Hockey yeah, I mean, it's it's a dream. I I keep pinching myself even to this day. Like, there's no way. Like, I'm still dreaming from draft day, right? Like, they didn't actually call my name. This was just a five year long dream, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, you know, I really, you try to take it for, for all that it is and really appreciate it. But um, once, if it's in the next week or next 10 years, whenever I'm gone, you know, I'll definitely be looking back on it and uh, reminiscing on some good times.
what, what stands out to you about this group? Uh, Austin was just in here singing your praises. And what, you know, he's, he's maybe going to be go down as one of the best players in franchise history. What's it meant to be part of this group? Yeah, I love this group. I mean, you come in every day and there's such good energy. I mean, all the way through the lineup, there's not one guy that uh, is bringing bad vibes and kind of hurting the squad. It's all pretty positive. Um, you know, even when even when the media is hard on us and we maybe have lost a couple, um, the guys always lean on each other. And I think that makes it almost better for us that you have to lean on each other more because there is so much pressure from the outside. Um, and, you know, I think this group is, is pretty sound in being able to deal with that. And they come together, or we come together pretty pretty well um, throughout some tough times. And you see through tough times, we bounce back pretty well. And we've always had some some of our best games after we've played some bad games. So I think that just shows the depth of this group. Um, yeah, going forward, it's, it's going to be exciting.